All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to fix a dead WS2812B RGB LED. So I'm gonna plug this in for you and show you what the issue is. So you've got these RGB underglow LEDs in the back here, and you can see they're flickering around like crazy. Now, sometimes you press them down, they're that it'll kind of fix itself a little bit. But in this case, this is the first LED in the chain and then it goes this, 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 and this, and this. So if we just fix this one, hopefully that will fix all the flicker on the rest of these. So first step is we're gonna remove the LED. Uh, we're just gonna use regular soldering tools, no hot air guns or anything like that. So the main thing I'm gonna use is X-Acto knife and soldering iron here. First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of solder to each of these pads here. And what that will do is mix the lead-free solder that was already on there from the factory with uh, our own solder. So it'll be need a little bit less heat to. Uh, get this LED off. So what I'm going to use this X-Acto knife for is I'm going to wedge underneath this LED I'm going to point the blade away from me um, and I'm going to heat these two pads up back and forth to kind of loosen it up and wedge this LED out of there. Now be gentle, we want to only raise it up a tiny angle so there you go after heating back and forth between these two a little bit it is now up at an angle. I'm gonna remove the blade here. Show you right there. So you can see right here, I've got the two pads of that side of the LED lifted up now. And I'm gonna use a little bit of wick to suck away some of the solder here. Normally I don't like using wick, but um, what I'm gonna use the wick here later on for is to clean the pads as well. Now I'm going to do the other two pads on here. So once again, get the blade on there. Going to go back and forth. Be really gentle with this. You don't want to rip the pads on the PCB up. And there we go. Oh, he's now off. And what I'm going to do next is clean off the pads. You can also use a desoldering pump on this. I tend to use the wick for this because it's a little bit of a cleaner um, feeling on the pads after this. Okay, and then I'm gonna double check that the pads aren't ripped off. Uh, take my flux pen here, apply a little flux there, and then next thing I'm gonna do is apply a solder one of the pads. So on here. The one with the notch is the ground pad, so I don't want to solder that one first because that's going to require a little bit more heat. So any of these three other pads you want to hit first. So I'll do this one here. So I'm going to tin the pad. And then I'm going to place the LED on. Uh, normally I would have my pair of tweezers on. I don't know where they wandered off to. So here, make sure the notch here lines up with the notch on the PCB here. So I'm going to tack down this first pad of the LED here, making sure it's straight, just as needed here. It looks like that is on straightly, straight enough. Now I'm going to do, I did this, this pad up here and I'm going to do the opposite corner pad. I'm going to add a little bit more flux to the area. Help let this solder flow onto the pad of the LED and uh, the PCB. Alright, so I got that corner down. Now I'm going to hit this corner here. A little bit tricky here with the hot swap socket in the way.
sure that both pads get enough solder on there. And then the last pad here. Alright, there we go. Now let's test it out, see if everything's working again. There we go. No more flickering here. And then, luckily, we checked through the rest of the chain of LEDs. They are not flickering as well. So, that's how we replace an LED or underglow LED.